Notion is essentially an app for creating your own custom apps. In other words, it's a no-code app builder. And those custom apps that you create with Notion, they organize your information and streamline your workflow. So that places them in the category of productivity apps. And if you take a critical look at any leading productivity app, you'll see that it's fundamentally a system for managing particular types of information. Project managers like Asana, ClickUp, and Todoist contain projects, tasks, and goals. CRMs like HubSpot and Salesforce manage people, organizations, and deals. Knowledge bases like Guru and Document360 use variations of articles and cards. Multimedia libraries host images and videos, and Outlook, Google Calendar, and Cron manage events. Customer support systems like Intercom facilitate tickets. And in the case of Monday.com, when you onboard, you explicitly select the types of entities you want to manage. Behind the scenes, these apps organize your information in databases. The app is simply a visual interface for that data. In fact, all apps, including web apps or websites, they're just graphical interfaces for information stored in databases. And when you create an app with other no-code builders like Bubble or Glide, you connect a data source containing a table for each type of content that the app will manage. So if you're building a CRM, for example, you'll connect databases of people organizations, and possibly deals. So Google Sheets and Airtable are commonly used as the backends of these no-code apps. And the app just displays the information in various layouts and filtered contexts, but it's pulling that information from the backend databases. So without exception, that's how every Notion workspace should be architected. It's my number one principle for using Notion. Structure all information within related master databases and then create contextual views for accessing that information intuitively. Many of the newer apps that Notion inspired come pre-configured with this strategy already implemented. AnyType, Capacities, and Tana are among the many emerging competitors to Notion that are built around core object types that share common attributes or properties as we call them in Notion. And the benefits of this approach are immense beyond measure. Just to name a few, it keeps your information tightly organized, intuitively accessible, accurate and consistent, versatile, scalable, automation and integration friendly, transferable and beautiful. So with nearly every Notion workspace, I include master databases for people and organizations, projects and tasks, areas and resources and events. And then I also commonly include days, months, quarters and years, objectives and key results, accounts, transactions, and invoices to manage finances, and then a centralized database of posts and another for products. And then relating these master databases really unleashes the unique power of Notion to create a system that, as I like to say, is greater than the sum of its parts. It allows you to maintain a single source of truth for each object type, and most notably, it automates your contextual views. Using database templates, you can automatically populate each database page with its related items from other databases. So that means each organization can display its related people and projects. And each project can display its related tasks and resources. So the strategy of interrelated master databases, it's the foundational principle of my bulletproof method, which underpins the bulletproof workspace template that's so widely employed by Notion users. You'll find that, of course, on Notion VIP, and it's available to all Notion A to Z subscribers. And within Notion A to Z, we take a much deeper dive into the implementation of the bulletproof method and the construction of the bulletproof workspace so that you can expand it to serve your unique needs. And if you haven't subscribed to Notion A to Z, I encourage you to join us so that you can make the most of Notion.